guys, welcome back to the Turismo Diaries. You join me on what is an absolutely glorious day um, to drive America's most famous, if not the world's most famous muscle car, the Ford Mustang. And here it is guys, in all of its American glory. This is a 2017 model, and it's the latest in its generation, now being the seventh, and it stems back to a history that started in 1965, and as you can see, it very much still looks like a Mustang. There was a slight bip on their third generation in the late 80s, but we'll forget about that, and we're back to the glorious muscle car looks, and it's aggressive styling, so let's have take a better look at it. But before we do, I want to give a massive shout out to Neil at Sterling Car Services for lending me the car for today's video very aggressive front end and um, there's not a Ford badge in sight as you can see we've got the the Mustang emblem proudly displayed on the front you've got the muscular bonnet there uh, which you can see from inside as you're driving along feels very powerful um, car to drive you've got the obligatory stripes running over the bodywork black and white works very well here fading out to the front almost fundamental part of any American muscle car whether it's a Dodge Viper GT40 or indeed the Ford Mustang. The front headlights almost appear to be recessed, they, set, they seem to be set deep within um, the bodywork, almost like the bodywork is, is so big it's coming out of um, beyond the lights. This is something that picked up on the heritage design from the early 60s Mustangs and again this front grille is set back within the bodywork by almost four inches just to give that really aggressive muscular feel um, and of course you've got a proud uh, Mustang emblem um, on display. Down the side you've got these 19 inch gloss black colour wheels contrasting against the white bodywork paint they look absolutely amazing and again they've got the Mustang emblems on the centre of the cap there hiding some Brembo brakes because you're going to need it because that five is for the amount of litres this car is packing. And the rear again, these lights segregated into very three linear lighting strips. Again, that's a, that's a throwback to the original uh, Mustang. And uh, moving across, you've got the huge GT emblem, because of course it's a, uh, the GT Fastback um, model of the car. All in all, it's a fantastic looking car. That's enough how it looks. Let's go see how it drives. Hello. Hello. Yeah. The 1965? Yeah. When I was your age, I would have been about, yeah, over 65, 66. Yeah. yeah. I had the Mac Wilder, the big one. Fantastic. You still got it? No. no. Bloody wars. <laughs> I wish I bloody were. I wouldn't be driving. Thanks for stopping. What a lovely man. Okay, well, the interior is fantastic. Um, you've got loads of historical references to the way you've got this double bubble dash. If you have a look at the old style, 1965 going back to, to the Mark I, um, you've got, you know, you've got throwbacks all over the place in here. The, 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 the ventilation, just all of these little design features, fantastic. And it's massive. You've got this great bonnet ahead of you. Uh, with the haunches it's very aggressive and it just looks like the car goes goes for miles um, to drive this car has multiple characters you can drive it as an every everyday car but if you want to give it the beans Now, I have driven a uh, Mustang before. This is not my first rodeo on one of these beasts, but that was in Las Vegas, and it's a 2.3 convertible, and because it was in Vegas, I can't really talk about it anymore. Here, we have the full-fat 5-litre V8, 
pumping out around 446 brake horsepower.